Hey, Crazy Vapor fans. So, I've seen a video on TikTok. Uh, I showed you guys how to make my KCV a small back. And so, I found, um, actually my wife found a different recipe for, it's pretty much a crunch wrap. So, I'm just, we're going to try it. So, cook with me here. Okay, so first off here, let me go ahead and turn it around. First off, take you a clean pan. A generous layer of butter spray on it. Just like that. So some other ingredients, you're going to need taco meat, you're going to need shells, you're going to need queso, you're going to need uh, either a fiesta blend or your favorite cheese, um, maybe some rotel, an onion, uh, this happens to be tomato out of my garden, and some lettuce, you're going to want some sour cream, uh, I'm going to leave that in the fridge, and then you're also going to need some of these uh, already fried up pasta shells. So, give me just a second. Okay, lay them out like this. If you want to use the bigger tortillas, but I do have these smaller tortillas. So the next thing we'll do, put your layer of queso down. Okay, make sure your queso is spread out all over it. Make sure you. I got the flash on for some reason. There we go. Uh, make sure your tortilla is pressed down in the corner so you're not creating an air bubble back there, but that's all right. Next thing you're going to want to do, go ahead and put, I have two pounds in here. So use two packets of Taco Bell seasoning. What you hear in the background is Mrs. Crazy Vapor making popcorn. Or not popcorn, coffee. So just do that, and then put your meat on. Okay, make sure the meat is all the way around it. Uh, definitely, the recipe I saw only had one pound, and this is two pounds, and you can see it's barely covering the sides, so you definitely want at least two pounds if you're gonna be making a large one like this. I do have the oven heating up to uh, 425 we'll be baking this for about 15 to 20 minutes so next up um, let's go ahead and put our tomato and our rotel down okay next thing you want to do I did go ahead and put the onion with it uh, I used about a half a half of a large onion I had it in the fridge it was still good so then the next thing you want to do is add your lettuce. Very good. So then the next thing you want to add after that is sour cream. And I pretty much, you want to get the pouch. It's kind of easier to squeeze and spread. You're going to want to use most of it. Okay. Got the sour cream on it. Next thing you're going to want to do and before y'all say uh, it's too much sour cream, I don't want your negativity. Uh, you can just go ahead and scroll on. There's no such thing. Honey, what? is there any such thing as too much sour cream? Hell no. All right. There you got it from Mrs. Crazy Vapor. All right. Uh, next thing you want to put your uh, tostada shells on. Okay, got them all covered. I used about half of this. Uh, the top half was all broken too but that's all right you got your broken ones go ahead and line them up on the outside uh, that way you don't have any crunch gaps oh i must have a gap you had a gap damn it okay then the next thing you want to do is put your fiesta blend cheese on there's not quite enough in here uh we're gonna have to open up the bag here and then we'll Go on from there. 
All right. So then, what you want to do then is let me just grab some. Put these on. I don't know if that'll these are gonna cover it, but we will see. Let's fold these over. Yeah. That's what you're gonna have to do is do it that way. Okay, this is super thick. So you're gonna want to fold these over like that. And more than likely you're gonna have to use toothpicks to hold it. So let me show you what it's done. Spray it down with your butter spray. And then we'll pop it in the oven. Oh, I'll show you another trick. Hang on. Okay, so here's what it looks like all sprayed down. Hang on. This is spot. All right. Get all sprayed down. So what I did is I took this pan and put it in the oven to begin with. Press down, and then go ahead and put the whole thing in the oven, 15 to 20 minutes, 425. And while we're still, we got five minutes left, I got Spanish rice, <clears throat> got some refried beans on the grill. Uh, that's just some leftover taco seasoning. I figure why not use that. I don't normally reuse utensils, but you know what? It's just used, so that's just extra flavor. All right, we got five minutes to go. Okay, it's time to take this out. Mrs. Crazy Vapor, would you like to no. record me for a second? No. Be on it. Don't burn yourself. Now it is quite heavy. Look at that. Okay, set the oven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hot. It's hot. Hot, hot. Mm. Remember, if you use toothpicks, take them out. All right, because you ate your fans. Uh, don't want to eat a toothpick. No. All right, so thank you for watching the video. That's We're going to let this set just to shade. We've got uh, the uh, spinach rice. we got beans over here. I'm going to mm. let this set just for a second, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, eat. Uh, you just want to cut it into sections, pull it out kind of like a lasagna. Uh, I would highly recommend using the larger ones. I We normally get the smaller ones for the soft tacos, uh, but you can use whatever you want. And make sure you get all of these out. I got that one. I got that one. I got it. Alrighty, I think we got them all. Thanks for watching and enjoy.